won't fix it. I call Chloe Swarbrick. Uh, it is a pleasure to rise uh, in support of the Education Teaching Council of Aotearoa New Zealand Amendment Bill. Uh, and I personally am stoked to hear the opposition, uh, members of the National Party, declaring that teachers deserve the best. Welcome to the party, guys. Welcome to the party. Uh, this is obviously happening alongside their new flagship policy of decreasing class sizes. I mean, it's not like they were in power for the last decade or anything. Uh, so we're stoked uh, that you're now joining this party, members of the opposition. You're welcome to it. Uh, and we're looking forward to working with you on implementing these policies. Uh, and obviously about ensuring that we get the best for the teaching profession and indeed what they are asking for. Uh, when the Nats removed uh, elected representation in 2015, Mr Speaker, we heard from the likes of NZDI and the PPTA on the changes, who all, I would note, vehemently opposed it. The NZDI said, how can it be independent when all of its governance is directly appointed by a politician? There will be a lack of ownership by members. Extensive consultation last year showed the sector clearly wanted an independent bodies whose members were directly elected out of the profession by the profession, along with appointments made in the public interest. And this bill delivers on exactly that, I would note. The PPTA at the time in 2015, when the Nats were pushing through these changes and removing elected representation, said, provisions about membership of the council, which could result in there being no current practicing teachers or principals on the council, is very dangerous. Members of Educans must understand that they will serve the minister and the government of the day, not the teaching profession. The Educans model as it stands allows the minister to handpick an exclusive club by stripping away the professional voice of teachers and not allowing us to elect our own representatives to our own professional body. Educans will struggle for credibility. And indeed, those are arguments that we heard throughout the select committee process. Uh, this select committee, I would note to this House, is uh, a fun one to sit on because it does happen to be one of the most polarised, uh, I would note, in this uh, 52nd, 53rd Parliament. Uh, and to the point about cost, which has been raised time and again uh, by members of the opposition, they are so fixated uh, on this cost that I think that they're forgetting who is paying for it. So I ask members of the opposition if they've heard of the teachers' uh, levy that they use to pay for this body. Uh, to the point around participation and around turnout with regard to those who are voting in these elections uh, and the kind of discussions about who, who turned out uh, throughout previous elections before the National Party removed them in 2015. Uh, no one is proposing, with declining turnout in general elections, that we replace politicians. So I would simply say that often what the response tends to be when we notice a decline in participation or turnout is that we try to reinvigorate democracy. And a good way to do that is to engage people on the issues and indeed to shine a light on the professionalism of the body, not to stomp on them. So this is a professional body that we're talking about, our teaching profession. The National Party themselves have said that teachers deserve the best. And interestingly, they've continued to speak about skills and competency focus when it comes to the board. But what they're doing is not talking about elected representatives from the teaching profession. They're talking about ministerial appointees. And to that point, I would ask, who has a better insight into the profession than current teachers? It's, sim it's as simple as that. Teachers uh, deserve to be able to elect their own representatives in the same way that doctors and lawyers get to. This is indeed about recognising that professionalism. Mr Speaker, I am stoked to stand here as a member of the Green Party in confidence and supply with this government to be delivering on this, returning elected representation back to the teaching profession. But more so than that, the broader work programme that we are undertaking to transform 
the education sector in Aotearoa, New Zealand. Mr Speaker, I am proud to stand on behalf of the Green Party and commend this bill to the House. Speaker. I call Erica Stanford. Mr Speaker. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I am stoked.